Hey friends, on today's episode, I'm gonna talk to you about how I design my chairs. Stay tuned. So today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how I design my chairs and how I do custom orders for clients. Um, whether I'm doing custom orders or I'm just designing for myself, how do I do it and how do I begin? So I have kind of a process that I typically go through. Um, so first is I pick the chair. Um, so that's the number one starting point. And sometimes it depends on if I'm doing a custom order for someone, it depends on their dining room. Like what is their dining room like? Uh, does it call for um, usually antique style chairs and you know honestly that's what I do so if someone comes to me wanting really modern style chairs um, I usually would not take an order like that and, and usually no one would come to me for that so but the whole idea is to pick a chair and so sometimes I have to take into consideration the table like is it a round table is it kind of classic is it pedestal you know what's going to work best with that kind of uh, table I need a certain kind of chair for that is it a farmhouse table so what kind of chair works really well with the farmhouse table as opposed to a French table and so sometimes I can find that some of the chairs that I do it doesn't really matter what matters is the fabric and the paint and that really kind of sets the vibe and I can make it work whether I have a farmhouse table or a French style table or whatever so that's what I begin with is deciding on the chair frame sometimes I look at the table next I look at pictures of the room so I usually ask my clients to send me pictures of their room of their space um, I need to get a feel and a visual look now most of my clients do not live anywhere near me I rarely ever take orders locally um, not that I don't want to but it just doesn't seem to happen like that so my orders typically have to ship out I'm in Texas they typically ship out either to the uh, east coast or west coast or northeast or northwest you know or just uh, central um, United States so they, they are always shipping somewhere and so I have to have pictures sent to me so I have them email me pictures of the room just so that I can see okay get my head around what does this look like now the next thing that I do is I ask the client a series of questions so first of all I ask them what colors do you really love and you would like to see in the space and then what colors do you hate and you don't want to see at all because I need to have boundaries to work within so creativity isn't just hey it's all everything goes you have to have boundaries to stay within and so that's what I need to know I need to know what is like if you say red is not a color that we can use in the space then I will stay away from red so I need to know what colors you love now next I'm gonna ask my clients what patterns do they really like for example, do you like geometrics? Do you like stripes? Do you like checks? Do you like florals? I mean, that's kind of what I'm known for. So a lot of my clients that come to me, they love florals too. So um, I have to ask them a series of questions. Do you want fabrics that on the chairs that they all match? Or do you want an eclectic set where everything is a little different? Um, do you want Mexican textiles? You know, so all these are the questions that I ask that I can begin to look for fabrics. Now, you should know why I ask all those questions because there are a gazillion fabrics that you can choose from. So you don't want to waste your time picking out things that aren't going to be at all what the client is looking for. Um, you want to definitely be able to know what you're looking for and choose the right thing. So once I know what fabrics they like, I go hunting down and I pick only the ones that I think are really pretty. I mean, there's going to be a ton of fabrics that I could pick, but some will be like, yeah, that's kind of oh, so-so, but this one is really dynamic. It's got all the colors in it. It's got a really neat vibe. It's going to go with that table. It's going to go in that room. It's going to go with um, the whole look that this client is wanting to create there. So I pick out the very best and I usually have a small selection. Too many choices can be really hard. So you don't want too many, you wanna pick the very best. So I pick probably five or six and um, I show them to the client. And if I am working with a floral, um, I usually will pick that one, Just I'm just gonna focus on florals, even though they may wanna mix it with other things. 
let's only focus on florals first. Pick the floral first. So I have them pick which one they like the most. Um, hopefully it's something that they can choose that I've given to them, but sometimes they need to see something else. It's just not the right vibe. So I kind of go back to the drawing board and I repeat until we narrow down on the fabric that we love. So now once I have a hero fabric, if that's uh, what's going to be happening in the room, I can go and mix and match patterns that go with that hero fabric. So I'm going to show you some examples of exactly what that is. In these pictures, you can see how the hero fabric set the tone for all these amazing colors. And you've seen probably these pictures before if you follow me on social media. This is one of my favorite uh, set of chairs. Um, when I was working on this other set of chairs for my friend, um, she really loved this fabric, but we went through a lot of other options before we settled on this fabric. And then we decided on checks and solids and we were trying to decide do we want stripes do we want something else and and we really had to narrow it down from there so that's kind of how the process works so once I have the fabric and we know what we're going to be mixing and matching with it if we're doing that then I decide on the paint what is the paint what is what paint is going to look best on these chairs because the fabric always drives the paint color and finally I get to work um, that's when I get all the fabrics ordered and I put them on the schedule and then once those fabrics come in and it's their turn, I start working on their order. Um, so that's kind of my design process. That's how I go through it. That's how I design chairs for my clients. And here's a little tip. Make sure you don't do the design work before you have an order from your clients because you will spend so much of your time doing design work for people and they never will follow through and place an order. So understandably you need to make sure that you get a deposit down or the chairs paid for before you start on the fabric selections so i hope this helps everybody i hope that if you're taking orders maybe you can find um, a really good process that works for you this is the one that actually works for me all right guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you do be sure to hit that like button below if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll get the notifications of when i have a new episode that comes out every single week i hope this has helped have a great day everyone <music>